Hello, hello, hello! Hello! I really have to uh, start bringing that extender thing again. Oh yeah? I'm yeah, just holding right. the camera with my hands, but... Yeah. Oh wait, come here. What? Show this. Look at this, guys. It's October, but they're already setting up the Christmas tree and it's gonna be ice skating rink here. It's one of the most beautiful places. Yeah, in we London. go every year. You probably seen the vlog last year. Oh, who's there? Baby Alexa. Hi Alexa. <laughs> Hi Alexa. She's sleeping well. She's sleeping so well in the carriers. She loves it. Oh wow, that's so funny. But anyways, we just stepped out of the house and we've been doing this now for two weeks. Well, not two weeks. We didn't start doing this right away. Oh yeah. We, last week or yeah for the last week we've been doing this like in the mornings after she feeds we just kind of put her in the wrap usually alex wears her because for now i'm she's on my boob like 24 7 anyways <laughs> so this is a good bonding time for the you know for the father and the baby and the sure. child and i get to have a little bit of a break as well Exactly. And then we go walking and it's just been amazing. She sleeps so well outside. It's almost like as soon as we step out of the house, she falls asleep. I know she hasn't even seen London yet. Like, did she fall asleep instantly today again? Yeah, right away. Go outside. Hi. Oh, what's up? I recognize you from YouTube. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Zara. Zara? Nice to meet you, Zara. We're just vlogging now, so you'll see yourself uh, in the okay. video. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <Okay. laughs> She's just sleeping. <laughs> nice meeting you. Bye. I absolutely love meeting you guys on the street, so if you see us, always, always say hi. Anyways, what I was saying is that, yeah, it's been very intense first few weeks. Well, it's only been like a little over two weeks with Alexa and Alex, <laughs> Alex who, and Alex. who has been like the most amazing partner I could have ever wished for. I mean, I don't think I would have had a child otherwise, <laughs> to be honest, because in my opinion, when you have a baby, when you have a child, it's a responsibility of both partners to bring them up. Not just the mothers, it's just how I think, it's my personal philosophy. And I have the exact partner who, yeah. you know, does that. So like when she wakes up at night, you know, obviously I feed her, but Alex always wakes up to change her, or like if Thank she you. burps and she needs change of clothes or anything like that. So it's been really, really helpful to have such an amazing partner. Yeah, I'll give you water when you need it, right? Yeah, bring me snacks or water. Alex's mom is here with us as well. Yeah. For the next few probably months, right? Yeah, yeah, next few months. Yeah, so that's been extremely helpful because she cooks a lot. She's always there, you know, with advice or tips or anything. Yeah, I mean, it is intense though, guys. Oh, like yeah. having a child, and it's, it's exactly how I always imagined it to be. I always thought it would be intense, and that's why I personally wanted to wait so long where I won this experience consciously because. I never wanted to have a child and then complain, oh my god, this is so hard, this is so exhausting because I feel like it's not fair to the child when we do that because the child didn't choose to be here, we made the decision to conceive this child and yeah, that's just my thoughts. I didn't even expect I'll be talking for Yeah, something. I know. You're I put on the camera and I'm like, oh, I guess yeah, I... Yeah, I was like, I was telling Mimi you should vlog today just because, you know, it's, it's just great for us because... Just to have this experience with the first days and having her here. So. Yeah, such but great. I think what you were just saying, I think, and something I want to say to you as well, is that I think what Mimi, you've been great at, is that, uh, like, the expectations versus reality. I think a lot of people do have these expectations, but you're, you're kind of fully embracing the, you know, the, cha the big change, right? Especially in our lifestyle. We're very, like, we go out a lot. Yeah, and, and all of a sudden we have to, especially you, you have to be at home a lot. And I'm very her. independent, and now yeah. like I have a dependent baby on me that yeah. I choose to breastfeed. Obviously, I can give her formula, I can give her whatever. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello. I follow you on Instagram. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Hi, my name is Caroline. Hey, hi, Caroline. Caroline. What's up? Hi. Awesome. Hi. Awesome. Hi. Did another hug. <laughs> It's yeah. been really great lately. I feel like there's more and more hugs on the streets yeah. <laughs> when we're walking. But um, yeah, so yeah, expectations. So I'm just saying overall, you're doing great, and I think same for me. I, I'm just really grateful for this experience to be able to 
be, be present and uh, yeah, do it with you. So it's great. And Alexa's been awesome. Thank you, Alexa. She's an angel, baby. <laughs> Such a calm, peaceful child. Obviously, she cries once in a while, yeah. which is also healthy as well. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're headed to we're headed through the park and the plan is to go to one of our favorite Indian restaurants for lunch. Yeah. But you know, life with a newborn is a bit unpredictable. So, so we'll who knows what, happen. what happens? But we're aiming for the plan. Um, so far, every time we go out, we've been able to yeah. accomplish the things we have. But again, it's a bit like, oh, what if she starts crying? What if you know? But we're getting used to it. It's a beautiful day today. So. Yeah, it's so nice outside, guys. Check out the views. This is why I love this city. Especially on a day like today. Blue skies, beautiful buildings. Oh, love you, London. We have to make a quick pit stop. Just to, uh, I think she was hungry. This baby. Yeah, that's perfect. Maybe it was a false alarm after all. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> that was an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, she's fine. That was an she hour. She fell asleep recently, right? Yeah, like literally five minutes ago. It How was long was that? An hour and a half. With a changing break? and feeding <laughs> and everything. I know. That was like <laughs> so, we, we, we miscalculated. Yeah. Because the feed was actually two hours prior when she stopped, right? Yeah. So we kind of. She eats a lot at the moment. Because <laughs> she's so small, she needs to grow. She's so cute. <laughs> but, now she's back to sleep. Exactly. We'll yeah. see how long that will last <laughs> and hopefully we can get to the lunch spot yeah. But again, you never know. That's why it's hard to have a schedule. It's, it's good to uh, go to places that don't without reservations They just go kind of if it happens it happens <laughs> We'll see what happens <laughs> It's a Sunday. We never finished vlogging yesterday. I'm just working with Alex here in the corner <laughs> and Alexa is sleeping over there on the couch. She's so cute and peaceful. She is sleeping more and more. Um, <laughs> she's getting used to sleeping longer periods, like two hours or like even an hour and a half feels so amazing. Like I feel like I have actual time to do things yeah. and I blow dry my hair I even did my nails I feel so productive <laughs> and now we're working yeah. but um I just wanted to say yesterday we sort of didn't finish vlogging because yeah. we ended up going to the Indian restaurant and then they told us we have to wait at least half an hour to 45 minutes it was a fail <laughs> and I was like Alex it's too cold I'm hungry <laughs> let's just go home <laughs> We had a little argument about that. I didn't want to give up. But. <laughs> Alex is like, no, let's just wait. And I'm like, I can't be bothered right now. So we ended up going home, having lunch at home. And then I think for the rest of the day, I basically fed her and just did, you know, regular things at home. Yeah, but I guess the, the main point is still that we, we talked about it's still important to still try and attempt even if you fail. Um, so as, as you, we, we learn as we go, so we're, we're learning. But I'm really excited about it right now. Just be also Alexa sleeping and just working on this project for Alexa here. Yeah, um, we have a little package here with some samples. We're working on some new products for Alexa here. I'm exciting. not gonna say what it is, but it's very, very, very exciting things it, that so, are completely and, aligned with what we want to create. So and I guess the most important thing is that we're working along for our team in Toronto, of course, and other, of course, people that are on this project. Well, I guess the most important thing that I want to say is that why even I mean, like maybe you should include this talk about this because 
a lot of times we work on things and it takes a long time. Like this has already been months. Yeah, this has already been months. Like we're already. And we'll probably take another. Uh, yeah, who knows? Like it might be three another... to six months, maybe longer. Yeah. To Hopefully even, to, not. To even see the result of not even knowing. Yeah. And of course, big investments and things like that. So I think the importance to talk about this is, like I said, and Mimi was like, you know, we were just discussing. She's like, well, this is it's a big investment and things like that. But like. Like we it's, we we take risks and we've done this in the past. And it might not work. Yeah, that's, and sometimes that's we, the scariest part, you know. Yeah, like. and, and the same. Yeah, I guess same thing. I'll talk about along with trying things out, not working. That's the whole thing of business, or even spe especially like having a child. Like you never know what's gonna happen. It's 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 uncertain. It's unknown. You have to take that risk and then see how your child is, how they are, what their attitude is. You never how your know. Relationship. You, yeah, is. you never know what. How they grow up to still to be they still are their own individual selves and it's in a sim in a similar fashion i guess i want to add business is very similar as mm -hmm. well as it grows it becomes different uh, you have different relationships you have different things it evolves it, things happen and so it's, it's being a caretaker right and um yeah. i think all we have control over is just constantly doing our best <laughs> like that's the only thing that we can do we cannot control other people, we cannot control what, you know, other parties, if, if you have a business and you're trying to create something, or if you want to have a business trying to create something with manufacturers, you cannot control them. But as long as you do your best, you know, you've tried your best, then even yeah. if you fail, it feels great. <laughs> yeah, but we, I think we're going to make another attempt to go yeah. out for lunch. It's going to be Mexican. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> It but. might not work, but um, yeah, we're just waiting for her to wake up, then I would feed her. And then yeah, we'll just go for a walk. Yeah, we'll see what and happens. Hopefully end up at a lunch spot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, she's smiling. <laughs> Hi, my love. Hi. <laughs> so we are at our favorite Mexican restaurant. We made it. So far, it's been a success. <laughs> Alex is sleeping in Lita's hands. She fell asleep in the car. Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> oh. She loves going out, just like her parents. <laughs> so we'll see. We have to eat. I'm excited. <laughs> That's how we'll walk around town with Alexa. Yeah. She's so cute. Oh, so red. So now we're just heading to Whole Foods. We have about 10 minutes before it closes. <laughs> so hopefully we can make it. <laughs> Best hummus ever. This is amazing cashew ice cream. It just has a few ingredients cashew milk, cocoa, actually, you can see it here. See, water, agave, hazelnuts, cashew nuts, and cacao. I love it. We had a really amazing feed, probably over an hour long. Yes, Alexa? She's so cute, she's looking at me. And now she's just chillaxing, looking so cozy in my arms. Oh, I love you, look at how she's looking at me, it's crazy. Hi, baby. You're so cute. You're so cute, I love you. I love you, Alexa. <laughs> Time to sleep now. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. We are walking to the office. As always, Alex is carrying Alexa. Yeah. I am just carrying myself. <laughs> I know. How's it going, Alex? It's 
going great. Alex is so awesome today. This morning we woke up quite early actually, and then after. But she slept already. Like yeah, long. she slept like seven hours, and then I fed her for about an hour, and then she was still very active. So Alex took her, and I slept for another two hours. I did that yesterday as well. It's kind of it's becoming like a new. I think me and Alex to go for a gratefulness walk in the morning. Oh. Follow my Insta stories. I know <laughs> I missed out, but I enjoyed my two-hour sleep. Yeah, because I, I I think it's only fair because when you wake up to breastfeed, like I should go back to sleep. Exactly. Like I'll wake up, whatever, I I'll change her. Uh, but then you're you're awake and then I go to sleep. So it's yeah. kind of even it out. Yeah, it's it's very balanced in our family. Yeah, it's such a beautiful and day today. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. This is so pretty. The fall this year has been extremely warm, which makes it easier to go walking with Alexa, obviously, because she's so tiny and although we dress her warm, you know, if it's windy, it's kind of like uncomfortable, especially if she starts wanting to eat outside and, you know, I might have to breastfeed her outside. <laughs> I still haven't had to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, not on the street. I did that in restaurants and stuff, yeah. but but yeah such a beautiful day yeah, and this is where we actually filmed her the pregnancy. oh yeah this is exactly where we filmed um what is the intersection here do you know not sure i think that's bayswater road yeah this is close to bayswater in notting hill it looks like just a deserted field basically but this is in the center of hyde park yeah. and this is where we did the um What's the pregnancy for? photo shoot yeah. and the video but yeah, we're just heading now to grab some lunch. Then we're gonna head to the office, do some work there while we still have the office. I don't know if you guys watch Alex's channel because he announced it on his channel. Is she okay? Because Alex announced She's it. Also on in, uh, she knows lunch is coming up. <laughs> yeah, lunch is coming up for her too. <laughs> yeah, what Alex announced on his channel is that actually the building where our office is is being sold. Actually, I think they already sold it. Um, so basically, we have three months or two less? months now. Oh God, time flies. Yeah, now we have two months to find a new office, which we haven't started looking for. It. Obviously, with the arrival of Alexa, we haven't had much time yet. But yeah, we just have two more months in our beautiful office. And then we're gonna look for a new one. Are you ready, Alex? It's yeah. like, we just found a new office in Toronto for Luxie Hair, our Luxie Hair business. And it's the perfect office we've been looking for almost two years. And just when we found that office, we lost this one. <laughs> so it's like, life. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking. We made it to the office and... Just in time for her to... <laughs> miraculous. As soon as we got here, she started crying. Basically asking for food. <laughs> Mimi found a friend. <laughs> you can see me because really into cats. All right, so we decided to do a quick Q&A while I breastfeed Alexa here. Mm. <laughs> oh, my hair is cool. crazy. right there. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys submitted questions on the Insta stories, on my Insta stories, because I announced I'll be doing a Q&A. And we're going to pick some questions now. Sure. Alex, you're in charge. So I'm in charge of questions. Shoot. Uh, Kat Luongo asks, is it what you expected so far? If not, what is completely different from your expectations? Um, I don't know if I had expectations. I guess the question is for both of us. You had, but I guess you did uh, sort of had some expectations, even right, right now you're breastfeeding. Well, I don't think you expected say, to be breastfeeding for so long. That's one thing I told you yesterday. I'd say with breastfeeding, I just never realized it can be for such long periods of time. I feel like that's one thing nobody has ever told me. Like I know that breastfeeding is very intense and it's something you do like all throughout the day and it's a big commitment, but I never realized one breastfeeding session could go over an hour. And I know it's different for every child. There's 
you know obviously she's a newborn and she's gonna become more efficient and faster with time but like right now it's very intense like sometimes she can go for the longest like two hours with breaks yeah. so that's something I did not expect everything else I would say is exactly how I expected it I always knew that it's gonna be very intense and that it's huge responsibility and it's full-on commitment and that's the reason why I never considered having kids up until the point where we made a decision we're ready to make that commitment um, so it's exactly what I expected in that sense yeah cool it's huge commitment uh, for me expectations um, I don't know I didn't have too many expectations either for some reason um, and it's been really cool so far no, honestly, it has been. Like, Alexa is super cool. Alexa, you're cool uh, in, in regards to, like, her sleeping. Um, so, yeah, it's expected you wake up. And I'm really grateful that she has, like, still longer periods that she sleeps. Like, yeah, she last sleeps night, really she, well, last night she slept... Seven hours straight. From what? Like, what is it from? Ten to five. Ten to five. That's That was a record, by the way. But, yeah. but like, Every mo night but most different. nights before, so eight, day 18, she sleep, you know, like, at least a three-hour chunk in there. Somewhere three... Three, four hours yeah. for a at a time, born, which is pretty. Doing like great. Alexa, you're doing awesome. So yeah, you wake up during the middle of the night, um, but yeah, that's so that's that's been next question. That's been fine. Yeah, I can talk forever. Next question. <laughs> okay, next question is from Zara Zakora, and she asks, "Do you plan on traveling or even moving until she grows up? Or I guess when as she grows up." Um, We're not planning on moving anywhere yet. We love living in London so Yeah, far. and this new apartment is amazing. Yeah, this flat is really great. Um, as for traveling, where they applied for her passport. Yeah, I that was, the, should, was one of the first, I think she was like two days old. And no, we got she must have been more. Three, three four? Three days, three or four Okay, days. I think it was day three or four and we got, yeah, we already applied for her passport. We took some pictures for her passport. Yeah, she did so really cute. great. She And her horoscope says she's very adventurous. So I think she'll be fine when she travels. Yeah, so yeah, I think we're definitely planning on traveling. I think still for the next uh, few months, we'll, we'll take, take it, it slow, easy. And it's actually perfect time because like I said, we're re renewing our visa now. We had to get her passport because she's Canadian and UK, they don't give passports. So even though she's technically British, she's not British, she's Canadian. Yeah, so anything so yeah. else to add? We're definitely gonna keep traveling. <laughs> okay, uh, slow. Sl Slaviana Ordanova, Slaviana Ordanova asks, Hi Mimi, uh, do you think Alex looks, Alexa, Alexa, sorry, Alex looks more like you or Alex? Much love. I think a lot of people say that she looks like me, but I actually see a lot of Alex when I look at her. For when example. she's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, when she's sleeping and her eyes are closed, I feel like it's Alex's eye shape. And even though Alex and I have similar lips, I think her lips are after Alex and if you look at her body, I don't think I've posted any pictures of her like naked so you could see her well. <laughs> but yeah, like I mean, no. not I'm, naked, but yeah. I mean like in a pampers or like in yeah. diaper. Yeah. Um basically like she has Alex's body structure. Not fully. I think she's she's a mix though. She's But she looks like she's gonna be tall. Like yeah. she has long but she's legs got muscle, though, and they're too. more like lean, like yeah. not like me. She's lean and she has muscle. I think she's a combination. And of she both seems of us. to have white skin, not like olive, yeah, not olive skin like I do. Aww. she's so cute. Yeah, I think I think she looks like. So she's I don't know, a good I think, mix. I see. I both think she's a mix of both of us. Yeah, I see both of us yeah. for sure. All right, uh, Ak Akanksha Dagra asks, "How is the feeling of having a new human being come into this world and on being parents?" I think I'm still shocked, to be honest. In a way, like. It was very natural and she, it, it felt like, you know, she just kind of fit right in. But I still look at her and I'm like, how the hell is this real? How did we ever make you? I don't know. I think it's something that as a parent, you're always going to ask yourself. Because I know like my mom always looks at me and she says like, how, like, I feel like she's still a bit like, how are you my child? You know, like, it's so crazy. Like, especially as you grow and like you start like having conversations with your parents and all these ideas and things and then you're like, whoa, you came from me. Like, how is it possible? I don't know. I mean, it's it's really crazy. It's magical. It's in, like impossible to fully comprehend. 
That's yeah. my thoughts on it. Yeah, I think, you know, at the same time, I thought it was going to be a lot more mind-blowing than it is. It's actually, I guess maybe some chemical balances come in and you're you're kind of really cool about it. Um, like what I mean, cool what I mean, what, what I mean, but like it's like it, it's not as mind blowing to me as I thought it would be. Once again, it's just like it's it seems very like natural and normal in, in a certain way to I guess co create co co create not co create I guess co create at the same time we co create <clears throat> but like yeah just keep people coming into this world. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but. <laughs> uh, overall, I think it's uh, it's great, and I think just on being parents, I think it's just it's just the beginning of the journey. Like, uh, so there's so many things com coming up. So it's just really yeah. the, the, the just We're the still beginning. So new. And uh, so I think that 19 days. To I guess so far it's just been yeah, it's just being learning a lot. It just brings a whole new set of learning that you mm -hmm. maybe did not expect before. And that's it's it. Different awareness. Yeah. All right. Next question, uh, part of my camera skills, because I am holding the camera and I'm holding looking at the, the question phone. and well, because Mimi is breastfeeding. Next question, why did you call your daughter Alexa, by the way? I'm also, oh yeah, just why did you call your daughter Alexa? Uh, this is Shahad Hassan. Yeah, that's a lot of people ask this question. Um, there is, well, her first name is Alexa, her second name is Love, <laughs> and her last name is obviously our last name. So we decided on Alexa. We actually had a different set of names for a boy and a girl before, but then a boy name, yeah, in a, in a backup. <laughs> but then when we actually decided to get pregnant, we um, changed those names. Sorry, one second. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Mm. Um, we decided to go with Alexa. I don't know when exactly we changed it to Alexa, but I think what we really like about the name and before we decided on the name we wanted a name with a deep meaning that means something to us and um we really liked the meaning behind alex alexandra alexa which is all the same it's called it's sort of like you're the defender of mankind um and that's something we would you know wish for her is to be you know that kind of human being who it stands for for good and kindness and the mankind yeah That's definitely kind of and yeah and not just only the mankind just for all species on this planet yeah, yeah not just mankind, um please. and of course it's, it's a big thing to live up to but uh it's it's more about just like mimi said just having some sort of meaning aspiration very, yeah. and her middle name being love and that is on her passport people are like is that for real yes that is for real um that is on her documents so That's something Alexa we decided very Recent, uh, last like, minute, yeah. yeah. Alexa love, but just love just to represent because she is the true manifestation of our love. Of our love together. Uh, yeah, of our love together. So And when she asks us what we're gonna tell her, we're gonna be like, We gave you love because you're our love. Uh, yeah, exactly. You She's are pure love. Pure love. The exactly. reality of love. Exactly. So yeah. Part of our so faith. and we also didn't know when she would come out if you know she would fit the name or not and we're, and then we're like, eh, cool, she fits. <laughs> That's her. Next, next question is from Alana Jean Jean. Uh, why don't you use a pram when you get lunch or something? Where do you put Alexa? Much love. And pram, in case you don't know, because in the stroller. UK they call push chair, right? And pram strollers in Canada, US, I think stroller is the most common name. Yeah. Um, do you want to answer that one? You can answer. I think you have a, <laughs> a, a more of a stronger opinion on this matter well, than I do. Originally, I did not want to have a stroller um, because I always, well, I still feel that way. I feel like <laughs> strollers are bulky and of course they're necessary for a certain lifestyle. Uh, but I felt like in our lifestyle, we can get by with just wearing Alexa. I also think it's much healthier to wear Alexa because you know, there's many studies and research that proves that when you wear them on your body, they can feel close to you, especially when they're small. Newborns. Um, newborns, two, three, four months. Hi, Hello. mom. Alex's mom just came home. <laughs> um, they can feel your heartbeat, they're calmer, and they cry less. And in our experience, because Alex has been wearing her, yeah, I still yeah. haven't tried it yet yeah. because, you know, I just haven't had the chance. But I know I've been hogging yeah. Alexa, actually. <laughs> Everyone wants to hold Alexa or wear Alexa, but 
yeah, in our experience, it's actually been great. Um, I think I think it's still just an adjustment, and and uh, I, I don't know if, if you're open to sharing or not. But we did buy a stroller well, recently. Well, Alex convinced. Well, I I convinced it, and it's just it's just more about like, I think the reason why we bought is that as as she grows up as well. Um, in case you know, there's people that help us out um, because we, like, we so cannot we, expect we, other people and, to and, wear and, her. And, and yeah, it's another thing. Yeah, we do. You know, that we do are still because someone asked Mimi as well. It's like, how does it feel to be a stay-at-home mom? And I think we both laugh. We're like, yeah, mom, Mimi's not gonna be a stay-at-home mom for sure. Um, well, even now, I'm yeah, still working. I'm yeah. working. I'm barely working, but yeah, I'm still working. exactly. There's some there's some work involved for both yeah. of us because um, we do run businesses. So, but I think. So we recently got a show, like I said, is mostly because just to help in case for other people as well to not, I don't, I never want to put expectation on other people to do just as we do, because you, you still want to make other people as well have some sort of comforts for them. And also to switch it up sometimes. So we got a like a super. It's the um, smallest stroller. This is like the smallest stroller like in possible, lightest <laughs> weight, whatever that you can get. And it's very foldable, compact. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We only, use, it we, only, we only used it once, I think, yesterday. It was a fail, I, I think. Um, I'm like, yeah, started crying. I'll, ra I'll rather carry her. Especially like when it's winter, like it's colder. Anyways, but uh, I'll, I'll say I'll still try, like even today, because we, we, we were walking with her again, and I still find it, it's a lot more comfortable. But I do want to find some hacks uh, with strollers of like still allowing her to chill by herself. I think is it's maybe another, when she's older. Yeah, I, I think that's a th I think that's the only, another thing that I just want to add is, is I, we also I think both believe how it's important for children to actually spend time in their own zone, like because so many people just like always like if the child's awake they're always like attacking them, like trying to stimulate them, but many times um, they're already pretty stimulated just being in this world. Alexa just took the boob out. Mm. <laughs> it's showing. So is that the last question? I think it's good. I think that's good. Yeah, there's lots of other questions, but this video is gonna be super this long. This video will be one long Q and A then. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. You want me to film her a bit? Little breaking. <laughs> Happy face. <laughs> Happy face. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.